Welcome back to U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition. USDA reports the winter wheat harvest is running slightly ahead of average at 25% complete. Even with recent rains, fewer bushels in the fields have allowed combines so far to sweep across the fields faster. While USDA will update world wheat stocks in its report next week, Grow Intelligence says their data shows that in the world, we just have 10 weeks worth of global wheat consumption in storage. And as concerns about running out of wheat remain on the world stage, we head to the fields and the plains to get a first-hand look at U.S. winter wheat harvest this week. The start of summer also ushers in the steady rhythm of wheat harvest across the plains. What typically is a picture-perfect setting of beauty from amber waves of grain is one that signifies the struggles of this past year for Texas wheat farmers. Here in the Texas Panhandle, farmers saw only a half of an inch of rain during the heart of the growing season. And as a result, yields are poor in the fields that did survive. I wasn't farming during the drought of 2011, so uh, I started it in 2014, but I would say this is one of, if the not the worst wheat crop I've had, uh, simply due to lack of rain. Our last rain that we saw was in the fall and we didn't get anything in the spring. Then it started raining again toward the end of May, but that was too late for our wheat crop. So this is one of the worst. Just to the north, Oklahoma's wheat harvest has been in full swing for about two weeks. About everything's made over 30. And then there are some fields that were hit harder by drought. We'll probably get into some that's quite a bit worse than that before it's over. Clint Wilcox farms in the northwest portion of Oklahoma. He says yields have been a bit surprising. This is not anywhere near the worst wheat crop that I've seen. I think 2011 and 2018 were much worse here. The wheat crop is still 40% below the strong harvest farmers saw in this part of Oklahoma last year, but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm not sure how this one pulled through as well as it did, but the few rains that we had were just timely enough. Across the state, wheat harvest is basically border to border. Farmers are hustling to get the crop out after some of Oklahoma saw 11 inches of rain in May. Right now we're in central Oklahoma. We're fighting humidity, so we're not starting till midday. Brian Arnold is an Oklahoma State Extension Precision Nutrient Management Specialist. He says the weather has thrown some curveballs this year. More of our western regions can run. We are getting some great nights. We've got nice wind, and so our humidity is dropping down, and we can run from about noon or 1 o'clock to 9 or 10 at night. And the dryness early on took a toll on overall yields. Harvest reports are marginal, and I'm getting some good protein numbers, but yields, people are more excited about reporting proteins than they are yields this year. Arnold says Oklahoma's wheat yields are mixed, but the research farms where he's harvesting are producing yields 50 to 60 percent below average. So where I want, you know, 70, 80 bushel, 90 bushel, I'm cutting 40 to 50 bushel. Test weights are also all over the board, but the rains a month ago were followed by intense heat and that created more work. Honestly, we had some issues with a lot of tillering because of moisture brought in tillers. Uh, the heat coming in has helped us finish off those tillers quickly, basically terminate them so we can get in. While the battle is never ending, Wilcox is thankful to have a crop to harvest this year. My bushels per hour aren't a whole lot different than they were a year ago. I'm just driving two and a half times as fast. And even with wheat prices double what farmers saw last year, the farm financial picture isn't all upbeat. We're just glad to, to be cutting further west than for me in Altus and those areas and Hollis. I have nothing to complain about. It really hurts to not have a crop whenever you have a good price. And so uh, we just hope for a better year for everybody next year. Weather may have knocked out wheat yields, but it's now reviving hope for their spring planted crops this year. Now, one of the issues that wheat farmers are pointing out is the lack of lines at some elevators simply because there's not as much grain coming in this year. Also, some custom harvesters are missing out on work this year that they rely on every single year. Well, when we come back, grain supplies are drawing attention, but what about demand? Our marketing roundtables are next. It's time to sign up for the 2022 United Pork Americas Conference in Orlando, Florida. Register today at unitedporkamericas.com and join us September 7th through the 9th. 